Hi everyone, Marco Carbajo here from businesscreditblogger.com. Today's video, we are gonna talk about how to get a business line of credit or a business term loan with this particular lender and it's strictly based on revenue as far as how they determine whether you qualify or not, up to 150K. So if you're a business owner that has existing business revenue coming in, let's say you were turned down from your bank or your credit union trying to get a business term loan or a line of credit, this is the video for you. Or if you're a business owner that's looking to expand access to credit or capital for the business, uh, in addition to the other type of credit you maybe already have with your bank or with credit cards, then this is also another way for you to expand your access to working capital or maybe even get a cash injection via business term loan. So let's get started. So first and foremost, uh, this particular lender uh, is now beta testing this great product called it's our business term loan product. They also have a business line of credit as well. And what they look at, where as you know, with typical banks, credit unions, they may ask for lots of documentation. They want you to at least be two years in business, most of them. They ask you for financials, maybe tax returns, your most recent P&L statements. So there's a lot of documentation, of course, personal credit check. Uh, that that's your traditional lending institutions look for with this particular lender they look at the main data point is the revenue of the business so they give two things that they look at um, when it comes to offering their business line of credit or their business term loan they use AI technology in their financial platform to do all the underwriting so it's not like a manual review they look at data and the two things they look at is primarily your deposits coming into your business bank account or they look at your accounting software, okay? So you can link either one of those to for them to underwrite and see what type of funding, whether it's a line of credit or a loan that they wanna to offer to you, okay? And they give you that opportunity to select, do you want a loan or do you want a line of credit? So uh, let's get started with why revenue-based uh, line of credit loan is, is powerful. It's fast and it's very simple. Literally, you can go online at bankbusinessline.com, put in information. Uh, it's really fast. So you connect your business bank account online or accounting software. They do have uh, uh, an icon in there that if you want to know how safe your information is, are you giving them access to your business bank account? And actually, you're not. They're not giving them access to, to log into your account. It's specific encryption. I don't know all that technology, but they show you how that works and what type of... Uh, technology that your bank's going to be communicating with their underwriting software, okay? Um, this particular lender has been doing this uh, for many, many, many years. Over 300,000 businesses have gotten loans and lines of credit from this lender. They support over 12,000 banks uh, that they lend, that, that you can account uh, link your bank account or uh, uh, as well as your accounting software, many different types like QuickBooks, FreshBooks, etc. Uh, but you get a credit decision right away. So there's you don't have to wait for days or weeks on whether or not you're approved. And it's immediate. Uh, and when you're approved, you can log into your dashboard that they provide to you online. And you can draw funds from your line of credit. Or, or if it's a, a loan you selected, the, the funds are deposited or the line of credit. If you draw on your line of credit, they're there in your business bank account in two days or less. So that's how fast you can get access to capital uh, or access to your line of credit. Uh, and you only pay when you actually draw on your line of credit. Uh, or obviously, if you get the business term loan, you're going to start paying right away because they're depositing all the money in your account right away. Okay, and there's no application fees to do this. It doesn't cost you anything. There's no subscription fees. There's no inactivity fees. Okay, some lenders, if you don't use your line of credit, they charge you fees. This lender doesn't. Okay, so you only use your line of credit when you need it, which is another major benefit. Okay, so let's talk about there's no maintenance, fee, maintenance fees you're going to pay, no monthly fees or anything like that. Uh, you could draw up to 100% of your credit limit in cash uh, when you need, only when you need it. So if let's say you get a $10,000 line of credit, you could draw $1,000, $5,000, up to $10,000 up to your credit limit. Um, now, also, you only pay for what you use. Draw funds from your line of credit online or you can get a lump sum of cash if you select the term loan. And we'll explain each of those uh, here in a couple minutes. Uh, your balance can be paid back immediately or over time. There's no prepayment penalty, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's say you, you draw on your line of credit and you get some sales and you want to pay it back earlier. Don't worry about it. There's no prepayment penalty. And there's no restrictions on how you're going to use the funds. It's your business. 
Now let's talk about what other minimum requirements before you apply for this line of credit or business term loan. First, you have to have a business checking account. Now we do understand you might have changed your business account, you may have been in business for years, but you moved your bank account from one bank to another, that's okay. But you have to have a business checking account with at least three months of transaction activity in your bank account. That's number one. Your personal credit, they're gonna do a soft inquiry when you apply, okay? So you have to have a minimum of a 600 credit score. Now keep in mind, when, you're, when you apply, this is a soft inquiry which doesn't hurt your credit, but they will pull a hard inquiry once you draw on your line of credit. So I'm gonna, that, there's a disclosure on the bottom for that, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so initially when you apply, it's just a soft inquiry. Minimum six months in business. Okay, so that's the minimum requirement. You have to be in six months of business and revenues. If you're doing at least four thousand a month, if you're doing right at thirty five hundred, that's okay. You can apply. I mean, it's fine. You don't have to be at four thousand. But if you're a startup, don't apply for this product. Uh, this 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 line of credit or loan. You have to be doing at least four thousand a month in revenue. <clears throat> and you have to be a US based business. And like I said, once you're approved for your line of credit, let's say they did a soft pull, they looked at your deposit activity, you're approved for a $10,000 line of credit, let's just say. Um, and let's say a month down the road, you need to use your line of credit and you draw, that's when they trigger the hard inquiry and it's one hard inquiry and that's it, okay? Um, now, let's talk about the line of credit. If you select the line of credit when you apply, this is a revolving line of credit. So you could draw funds and repay it and reuse it again and again. And there's no prepayment penalty on your line of credit. When you draw on your line of credit, they give you two ways to repay each time you draw funds. Do you want to pay it back in 12 weeks or 24 weeks? Um, and I'll give an example of, of what the, uh, the, the fee is going to be when you draw on 12 compared to 24, etc. Uh, but the beauty of that is, is when you log into your dashboard, and let's say you're approved for a $10,000 line of credit, and let's say you want to draw $5,000, it shows you right there is if you select 24 weeks, this is what your repayment's going to be. If it's 12 weeks, this is what your repayment's going to be. So you know full disclosure uh, what you're going to pay on, uh, on, on, on your fee to access that money in, in whether it's 12 or 24 weeks. So it's full disclosure there, which I really like. There's no hidden costs or anything like that. Uh, now let's talk about a business term loan. There's no origination fee if you select a business term loan. You decide how much you want to borrow, borrow up to your approved loan amount. So let's say you're approved for $50,000 loan, but you only need $20,000, then you only take $20,000. Okay, so obviously uh, that's you don't want to borrow more than what you actually need. Uh, this is a one-time draw. So if you're approved for $50,000, let's say you only take $20,000, that's it. You can't access that other uh, amount of money that you're approved up to. Once you uh, pay at least 50% of your loan down, then they'll reassess you to see if you're, you're also available for additional financing, additional loans, okay? But the term loan is a one-time draw, okay? Whereas the line of credit, if you get that one, that's revolving. Uh, there's no prepayment penalty on the loan. You always see your repayment before you draw on this loan uh, and choose to repay it over 24 or 52 weeks. So there's a longer repayment term. Now, let me kind of really go over, like most people want to know, what's the interest rate going to be on, on my term loan? Well, at the end of the day, it's the shorter the repayment, the less risk to the lender. So if you, you're you more cautious on interest, then you're going to want to go over the 24-week repayment because then you're going to be probably around the 8 to 10% interest rate range, where if you're going in the 52 weeks, which is pretty much a year, then it's more risk to the lender. So you may be in the teens when it comes to your interest rate. So uh, that's just kind of want to... Uh, you want to factor that in if you're interest rate sensitive that the shorter the term less risk the longer the term higher risk for the lender and that's why they justify the higher interest but again you're going to probably get a lower interest if you have really good credit scores uh, so if let's say i said minimum 600 credit score but let's say you have a 730 740 well then there then that's less risk to them so they're going to give you a better offer on your rate all right uh so which is right for you this kind of quick little Break up, break down for you if you're not sure, do I need a loan right now or do I need a line of credit? Um, so most people get loans if you're trying to make a major purchase. 
Uh, and you could just basically pause the video right now and kind of go over this and, and decide if a loan is best for your business right now or if a line of credit is best, okay? And again, you'll see the, the link bankbusinessline.com. That takes you to this lender's actual application page. You wanna use that link, why is that? Because the business term loan product right now is in beta testing. And because of our relationship with this lender, they've made it available to us, to our subscribers, to our, to those of you watching this video, which is great. Um, so just not anybody can get that business term loan product because it's in their in their beta test mode right now. But we are using our link. Uh, they're allowing it. They're opening it to our uh, people refer refer them to uh, to the to their page uh, to apply. Uh, so this is just kind of a breakdown of our notifications, just our recent ones that we just got. So obviously we had to block out the company names and, and this just gave us notifications on the approvals coming through. Um, and these people, the first one here, 90,000, this was just uh, last week. Uh, and this was this particular amount was for a loan. Uh, but all these other ones were lines of credit. So this particular company wanted to get a business term loan. They got approved for 90,000. And it was literally within a day they got approved uh, the funds in two days. So, I mean, that's pretty powerful. But you could see, you know, is, is money being lent right now? Is people Are people getting, companies getting credit? Absolutely. There's always credit and funding available. Okay, but just so you know, this particular lender is looking at those data points. Your revenues of the business as well as... Um, or your accounting software. And the one thing I want to also talk about real quick is... <clears throat> You could have went to your bank and let's say you're doing fifty thousand a month in revenue, let's just say, and you're and you have the financials, you're a profitable business, but let's say your personal credit took a hit and you have only a six hundred credit score or six twenty credit score, and the bank pulls your credit uh, to 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 approve your business for let's say a loan or a line of credit, and they turn you down because you have issues on your personal credit, but your business is producing revenues it's, it's a thriving business you have no you know you have no problem the business has no problem paying its, its expenses so that's where an alternative lender like this fits in great for you because they're looking not just at your personal credit and the credit score requirement is only 600 where with this lender they're looking at your revenue so they see the revenues coming in and that's how they they approve you okay so uh, that's why the alternative lending space, um, these other fintech companies are really serving a, a market to, to small business owners like yourself if you're in that predicament, okay? But also, remember, if you have great credit, you have a line of credit at your bank, and you just want to open up another line of credit available for you, that's very important too because I always tell business owners, don't just have one line of credit at your own bank that you, have bus that you do business with because remember... You have to prepare for any time the market constricts, banks tighten up and they reduce credit lines. Okay, so what I mean by that is you don't want to have just one line of credit. You want to have multiple access to lines of credit through multiple channels, whether it's business credit cards, a, a, a line of credit at your, at your bank that your business has an account with, alternative lines of credit like this. That way you as a business owner, you have you know, if one bank t tends to lower your credit limit, you have other credit over here, okay? So, and now so you could select which line of credit would best serve this purchase or this this would alone serve this or line of credit, etc. All right, so you want to diversify your access to capital as a business because it safeguards you, okay? Anytime the markets constrict or there's less capital available, diversification is great is key, excuse me. So how do you apply for this? If you meet the minimum requirements, um, you wanna register online for free, you go to bankbusinessline.com. Uh, you're gonna select, I'm gonna show you the, the screenshots here in a second. Uh, select revolving line of credit or loan. So you wanna choose which one you want. Uh, you can connect your business bank account, that's the next step. Uh, there's over 12,000 banks supported. Uh, and when you're approved, you log into your dashboard and you could draw on your line of credit instantly. Or if you selected a business term loan, you could select how much of that term loan do you want. Uh, and the funds are deposited in your bank account within two days. Okay. Uh, so how does it work? Uh, with a line of credit, you could choose up to 12 or 24 weeks to repay when you draw on your line of credit. Or if you're getting a business term loan, you choose 24 or 52 weeks for a loan with no prepayment penalty on either one of those products. 
For example, if you have a $10,000 credit limit and you want to draw $1,000 and you have a, and you choose a six-month repayment term, uh, that puts your weekly repayment at $45.41, so it's going to cost you about $90 to borrow $1,000. This is just an example, okay? Uh, so let's talk about the online application process. Uh, this is the screen. You go to bankbusinessline.com. Make sure you use that link because otherwise you won't be able to get access to that business term loan product because only select partners uh, with this lender have uh, they've uh, they're beta testing that business term loan product with, with uh, uh, their partner or favorite partners, uh, selected partners. Excuse me. Uh, so you put just put in your name, email, phone number, and then the next uh, screen they're going to take you to is right here. And this is where you select whether you want a line of credit, a one-time loan, uh, how much you're looking for, what you use the funds for, what percent of your revenue is on, on online sales. Um, and then you go to the next screen. So this is where they give you the option if you want, if, and most people say, well, I have an accounting software and I also have my bank deposit revenue, which one should I use? You want to use the one that shows the, the most revenue for your business. So if everything's coming in through your business bank account, then use that. But if your accounting software has everything, the bank account revenue and other uh, data points that you, uh, other revenue that, that where it encapsulates the entire business and revenue, then use your accounting software. Um, they do also offer invoice financing as well, but if you don't have accounting software, you don't want to link it, then just click uh, the skip this step, okay? Uh, then now you're going to collect connect your bank account, and this is where the link I was telling you about where it says we keep your information secure. Uh, that if you click on that, if you just want to know, you know, what you know by you linking your bank account, what is that doing? Are you you know giving out sensitive information? Where are you worried about you know uh, theft or anything like that? So make sure you read that if you want to get to know what type of encryption they use. And remember, your bank is also communicating with with their underwriting process. So your bank has its own encryption and its own security, okay? Um, but if you don't see your bank here, you just click here and you can see all the banks and you'll find your bank. Uh, you put in your bank information, this is just an example. Uh, and then um, they're gonna connect and it's gonna underwrite when it locates your bank. Uh, then you go through that uh, quick process. Yes, this is my bank, bank account. They verify the account. And then you're gonna put in some basic other information on the business and yourself and um, from there you're done and then they'll notify you uh, via email what you're approved for and you can then you can log into your dashboard to access your funds so that's pretty straightforward and how simple it works um, this is a great opportunity for you to expand your access to capital uh, as a business and if you like this video give us a thumbs up uh, click subscribe. That way you're getting notified every time we put out uh, an update or we have a new uh, funding product uh, on building business credit. We also give you strategies how to build your business credit while protecting your personal credit at the same time. Uh, our website's right here, businesscreditbuilders.org. That's where you can find out what products and services we offer. We do offer funding, done for you funding, and we also have our step-by-step -step business credit building system. With that, make it a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.